She's the only artist, male or female, to have a number one album in every decade from 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, O's, O10s. I mean, like, that's crazy. Bob Dylan yeah. hasn't done that. Or, you know, I don't know how many, Paul McCartney hasn't done that, but Barbara has. Throughout the book, we focus on the collaborators at that time. In the 60s, right. she had an arranger, Peter Matz who did all of her classic early albums. So we focus on that and, and say what he brought to that relationship. You mentioned Sondheim, who's one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. And she has basically become the most, you know, prolific interpreter of his work. You mentioned mm. Yentl, which she did with the Bergmans. They also wrote, like, The Way We Were and You Don't Bring Me Flowers, so many of her hits. That's several pages when we get to that, because those are really her lifelong friends and collaborators.